Hi, my name is Dave. Today I'd like to show you some options for mounting your Questar telescope. I realize that not everyone out there has a little machine shop and has the ability to make things in metal like this. This is a custom wedge that I made for the Questar several years ago and I modified it recently. You may not have all the resources necessary to make one of these. Well, I've got some options. I sort of stumbled across these things as I was in the process of researching this and making this one. So let me show you a few ways to mount a Questar that doesn't cost a fortune, not too complicated. This is a Mead 884 tripod. It's got a Mead ETX on it, which is what it was designed for. We can adjust latitude right here. There's a scale down here that will even tell you what the latitude that should be about my latitude there. Now, that's only going to be approximate. And even if you could do this precisely, which you can't, uh, you would never be able to get it aimed perfectly north and south so that it would be perfectly polar aligned. You're not going to be able to achieve that with this mount. But this will be really good for visual use. You can use the telescope. The telescope is in a pretty good position. It does stick out here a ways. It's over this leg though, so the leg helps to support it. So anyhow, here's your nice little ETX. It has an adjustable height, but this is as high as it goes. It won't go any higher than this. It goes lower. So you've got your ETX. Can we use this for a Questar? And should we use it for a Questar? Okay, so when I take the ETX off, find that there are these two screws, you could theoretically, and I think I've seen people do that online, mount one of these, that's a quarter twenty, mount the Questar right on there. I don't like the idea very much, but it will work. Alright, and if you're clever, you can even orient the, the Questar so that whatever power See, I'm not sure if I can get my power plug to... Yeah, I might be able to barely plug in my power plug if I orient it, orient it properly. So I might be able to use that. I use a power guide too, so it, it would work for me. I don't think some of the other big ones probably wouldn't work. But there you have it. The problem is, and there are several issues with this, I don't mind so much that it's off-center. That's, that's okay. This is the real problem. I would not want to have a Questar on a mount that slips and slides like that. There's just too much chance of this thing, I mean that's all that's holding it folks, there's too much chance of that thing releasing and there goes your Questar, there goes your tripod, there goes everything else to the ground. So I uh, don't want to do that with a Questar, not interested in doing that with a Questar. There's a solution for that. This is what you need. You need a piece of 3 8 inch threaded rod from the hardware store. This is about 10 inches long. A couple of wing nuts to fit that. This needs to be drilled up here. That's probably the trickiest part of the operation. Drill that. In my case it was 7.30 seconds or about uh, roughly 5.2 millimeters. So you'd need to drill that, cross drill that, and then I'm going to replace all of this. And now you have a much more secure mount for Questar. You can still use this lock mechanism if you want to. The main thing is to make sure that you have your safety here in the form of this wing nut. You can adjust that. As a matter of fact, you can adjust that pretty precisely. You're still never going to be able to pull or align this scope really, really well with this mount because there's just no way to adjust for the azimuth, but uh, this will work pretty well for you for visual use. One nice thing about this option is that you haven't modified the 884 tripod or stand in any way. Um, so you can go back to the original and it's sellable on the marketplace. 
If you want to, you can also go nuts like I did. <laughs> I built this special adapter plate to use with my uh, Quantum 4 telescope. It works okay with the Questar also. Uh, coincidentally, the hole lines up for the power plug. Other people have cut holes in here for the power plug and drilled the center and so forth. That's a, another viable solution. It really doesn't affect its use for the uh, Mead ETX that way. This is the Mead 883 Deluxe Field Tripod. I think it's the 883. Anyway, uh, Deluxe Field Tripod. This has some advantages. This is for the ETX, of course. It's got some nice advantages. Unfortunately, it's just not quite compatible with the Questar the way it is. It's kind of tricky. But let me show you some of the things about this. First of all, you can easily and precisely pull or align this. It's got uh, more or less standard kinds of push-pull bolts for azimuth and similarly for altitude. You can lock this down. There's even, there's even a, an altitude scale here. Although for precise polar alignment, you're going to want to use uh, something other than that for precise polar alignment. But it's got some nice features. Will this work for a Questar? Let me show you how this comes off. It's got the standard bolt arrangement kind of a thing here. This is a pain in the neck. All right, you can leave one bolt attached, but you're still using two bolts to attach it to this uh, plate here. It's going to be tricky to adapt that to fit a Questar. There's one thing you could do. The bolt. This is a quarter inch 20 bolt. That in the bottom of the Questar and slide it on there. The only problem with this is I just don't like the security here, the lack of security of just the single bolt holding it to this. It could come off of there pretty easily. This is a simple adapter plate I made to go in the bottom of Questar. Notice that these are offset a little bit to give you just a little bit more height when you uh, attach the Questar. Also notice that this is wide enough and long enough to bridge the entire width of the Questar base, which gives you a bit of additional strength. Here's the Questar with the adapter plate attached. I think you'll agree that's a much more substantial way to mount a Questar. The one downside to this adapter plate it works fine, but uh, the main thing is you have to take the plate off the Questar every time you store it. It's got these projections sticking out the bottom. So that's a, that's a bit of a challenge, a bit of a pain. So I came up with this one. This is a little bit uh, better version of the same kind of adapter plate. So this one goes on pretty much the same way. Notice that I can put it on without having the Questar on, which is nice. It's also got very good support all the way around the rim of the Questar. Now I can simply put the Questar on here. Make sure to align the hole. I like this better also because it puts the Questar more of the center of gravity of the tripod. This is the Questar Astro Pier. Premium, precise, perfect mount for the Questar. I have a whole video about this, so please tune into that. Also, this one, this little thing here that I made is beautiful as well. Works quite well, has some advantages over the Astro Pier. Check out my videos about this one also. I hope you've enjoyed this video about options for mounting your Questar telescope. Thank you for watching.